Rounding is an important skill, and in this video I'm going to teach you what you should know about rounding for the GED math test. Let's get started. The first example is, to the nearest 10, what is 743? So let me give you a chance now to pause the video, and you can try to round 743 to the nearest 10, and if you get stuck or aren't sure how to do it, don't worry about it because whenever you want to pause the video, we're just going to go over it. So the first step here is to identify the number in the tens place. So three is in the ones place, four is in the tens place, and seven is in the hundreds place. So since four is in the tens place, I want to start by going to the number directly to the right of four. Now I want to ask myself, is this number something less than five? or is it a five or greater? If it's five or greater, I'm gonna round up. If the number is less than five, I'm gonna round down. So three is less than five, so I'm gonna round down. Now you might be wondering, what do you mean by round down? So let me show you. So I'm gonna leave everything to the left of the four exactly as it is. So I'm gonna leave seven alone, and I'm gonna leave four alone, but I'm gonna turn the number to the right of four into a zero. So I'm gonna turn that three into a zero. So the answer here is 740. The next example says, to the nearest 10, what is 849? So let me give you a chance now to pause the video, try to figure this out, and whenever you're ready, we'll go over the answer. So I'm gonna start again by identifying which digit is the tens place. So nine is in the ones place, four is in the tens place, and eight is in the hundreds place. All right, so I wanna pay attention to this four here since four is in the tens place. Now, I wanna to look to the number directly to the right of the four. And I wanna ask myself, is this number less than five or is it a five or greater? And if it's five or greater, I'm gonna round up. If it's below five, I'm gonna round down. So nine is greater than five, so I'm gonna round up. And if you're not sure what I mean by rounding up, let me show you. So I'm gonna leave the eight exactly as it is, but I'm gonna take this four and I'm gonna bump it up one and I'm gonna make it a five. And then I'm gonna put a zero after the five. So in other words, I'm gonna take this four and I'm gonna change it into a five and I'm gonna replace that nine with a zero. So the answer here is 850. The next example says, to the nearest hundred, what is 872? So now's your chance if you'd like to to pause the video, try to figure this out, and whenever you're ready, we'll go over the answer. So the first step here is to identify the number that's in the hundreds place. So in this case, eight is in the hundreds place. So the next step is to look to the number directly to the right of it, and I wanna ask, is this number something less than five? Or is this a five or greater? Now, if the number is five or greater, I'm gonna round up. And if the number is less than five, I'm gonna round down. So here I see that we have a seven, so I'm gonna round up. So what does that mean exactly? Well, I'm gonna come back to my eight and I'm gonna bump it up one. So I'm gonna make that a nine and I'm gonna replace the seven and the two with zeros. So the correct answer here is 900. So the next question says, to the nearest 10, what is 589.34? Is it answer A, B, C, or D? So for the previous questions, as you might have noticed, I left them up to you to come up with your own answer, but for this one, I typed out multiple choice answers. So let me give you a chance now to pause the video, try to figure this out, and whenever you're ready, we'll go over the answer. And if you get stuck or aren't sure how to do it, don't worry about it because we're just gonna talk about it. Okay, so the first step here is to identify the number in the tens place. And the number in the tens place is the eight. So the next thing I wanna do is look at the number directly to the right of the eight. And I wanna ask, is this number something less than five? Or is this number a five or greater? If the number is something less than five, I'm gonna round down. And if it's a five or a greater number than five, I'm gonna round up. So in this case, we have a nine. So what I'm gonna do is round up. So I'm gonna leave the five exactly like it is, and I'm gonna bump this eight up to a nine, and I'm gonna replace everything else with zeros. So this nine here that I had in the 589.34, I'm 
I'm going to turn it into a zero after I round up. You could write 590.00, but you don't really need to write this 0, 0.00. You can just leave it as 590. So A is the correct answer here. So I just want to make a quick point here about this example before we move on. And the point I want to make is that in this case here, eight is in the tens place and three is in the tenths place. So it's easy to mix up the tens and the tenths places here. So just keep in mind that here, eight is in the tens place and three is in the tenths place. Tommy, do you have any tips you want to add? So the next question says, to the nearest hundred, what is 152.2938? So let me give you a chance now if you'd like to to pause the video, try to figure this out, take all the time you need, and whenever you're ready, just unpause the video and we'll talk about it. And whether you get this right or not, right or wrong, all we care about for right now is the learning and the practice. So don't worry if you get this right or wrong, give it a shot. And if you get stuck, don't worry because we're just going to talk about it. Okay, so we're asked to round to the nearest hundred. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is pick out the digit in the hundreds place. The digit in the hundreds place is the one. And I want to be careful that I don't get this confused with the digit in the hundredths place. The digit in the hundredths place is nine. But in this case, I want to find the digit in the hundreds place, and that's one. And I want to look at the number directly to the right of the one, and I want to ask, is this number something less than five, or is it a five or greater? And in this case, it's a five. So what I'm going to do is round up. So I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to bump it up one and make it a two, and then I'm going to replace the digits to the right of it with zeros. Now, in this case here, I can just stop at 200. I don't have to put a decimal and keep writing zeros here. We see here that 200 C is, is our answer. So C is the correct answer here. This video's champion shout out goes out to a test taker who recently passed social studies, RLA, and science and is preparing to take math very shortly. And I wanna wish this test taker the best of luck with math. To the nearest 10th, what is 232.58? So let me give you a chance now if you'd like to to pause the video, try to figure this out, take all the time you need. And if you get stuck, don't worry about it because we're just going to go over the answer. So let me let you try it now. Okay, so for the first step here is to identify the number in the tenths place. So the number in the tenths place is the five. And I want to be careful that I don't get this confused with the number in the tens place, which is three. So I start by identifying the number in the tenths place, which is five. So the next step is to look to the number directly to the right of the five, which I see is eight. Now, since this number is greater than five, I want to round up. So remember, if the number is five or greater, we round up. And if the number is less than five, we round down. So in this case, we've got an eight, which is greater than five. So that's how we know we want to round up. So I'm gonna leave the 232 exactly like it is, and I'm gonna take this five and bump it up to a six. So the correct answer here is B, 232.6. So the question says, Lucy bought a book for $24.99, a DVD for $19.99, and headphones for $49.99. If Lucy lives in a state with a 6% sales tax to the nearest dollar, how much will she owe? Is the answer A, B, C, or what about D? So the first thing that I'm going to do here is add $24.99, $19.99, and $49.99. So I'm going to add these numbers up, and then after that, I'm going to worry about the tax. So $24.99 plus $19.99 plus $49.99. That's going to be my first step. So adding these up gives me 94.97. So the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out the sales tax. So 94.97, if there's a 6% sales tax, what I do is I take 94.97 and I multiply it by 0 0.06 because 0 0.06 is equal to 6%. So I multiply this and I get 5.6982. 5.6982. So now what I have to do is come back to my 94.97 and I'm going to add that 5.6982 to it. Okay, so I add these up and I get 100.6682. 
So I get 100.6682. And now we're at the step that we want to get to here because it says here to the nearest dollar, how much will she owe? So I want to take this and I want to round this to the nearest dollar. So how do I do that? Well, what I want to do here is look at the number to the right of the decimal. So the number to the right of the decimal is greater than five, it's a six. So I'm gonna round this up. So I'm gonna make this 101. So to the nearest dollar, 100.6682 is 101. So the correct answer here is B101. And if you had another way to look at this here that got you the same answer, feel free to let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to.